Hi, um, my name is Anna Miller and I wanted to share with you some wonderful items I discovered along with Karen Thomas's help. Karen Thomas has wonderful items on her website that are all beatable so you're not limited to only doing jewelry. Um, I see all of these, they are just so fabulous, so um, I'll be testing them over here to show you how exactly those get put together. And uh, she has a wonderful selection of different cutlery items, makeup brushes, um, look how wonderful those are. You can do so many things with them and the bristles are so soft with those, uh, they're just perfect. Um, I'm loving these. So along with the brushes, there's also like a wonderful cheese set right there at the top. Um, they're wonderful finished uh, pieces that only need the lamp work beads to be added. Um, they're very nicely done, very uh, high quality items, I believe. Um, another favorite of mine is this little magnifying glass, and uh, that's along with the pens and the letter knives. Those are very nice to have decorating a desk. Those would be perfect for gifts, whether they are hostess gifts or Christmas gifts. So I think a gift season would be a wonderful time to add those to a product lineup if you sell online or in person. Those pens are so nice, they feel so heavy in your hand, um, so solid. Um, once you add the beads, that adds a little heft too. So those items really do feel like uh, best there is. I am just loving the pen and you see uh, sometimes the beads can leave a little gap but I will show you in a little bit how those gaps are filled. Here I lined up all of these items with some of the beads I had just to show you how they go together so uh, um, maybe you will be enticed to try them. I think they're really worth a shot. Um, I love the pins. They have a really large shaft for the beads. You can do quite large um, cylinder beads with those. Or you can put uh, several smaller beads together in many different combinations. So um, Here I aligned some beads already for the smaller bead that I had selected for this particular turquoise pin. And I have a little spacer there, then the lamp work bead, another spacer, and a couple of decorative little beads that fit on the end there. And a little more spacer and uh, the cap that comes with the pin. The um, cap on the end is also coordinated with the color of the pin, so it's a nice little set to feature beautiful lamp work beads and I think those look so fabulous. They are a pleasure to write with and even just laying on the desk they are a wonderful little addition. Karen has them in a selection of different colors. She let me test the turquoise one and the silver one. The silver one's my favorite as I love silver and I made this bead specifically for this pen actually. Um, but I did not do it long enough. See, I have just a little bit of space there. But I will show you how to fill that space also to make it look intentional, not just uh, accidental. <clears throat> so let's take that off and see what we can do with this. Karen does offer selection of different beads on her website. Some of them are intended for the main features and some of them are the nice little silver filler beads. I just love those. They come in a selection of different thicknesses and a few different designs on the surface. As you can see, you can fit just about any gap with those little beads. So for this one, I just need a little one um, just to fill that gap up until the bottom of the thread. So I need a little decorative bead and a flat little disc spacer bead just to make sure that I have it nice and tight on there. Oh, let's add one more for good measure there. There we go. Right now it's just about two 
the thread part and let's just put the cap on and that fits nice and snug tightens up the bead on there so it all looks like one nice total piece the silver accents the beads and the bead is just wonderful displayed there this little set of cutlery or rather the cheese set is really really interesting little set I made those little green beads just specifically for this set I wanted them all to match but you can do mix and match on those items as well and I think they would look just as wonderful <clears throat> I tried making those beads to the length of those little shaft pieces I think I succeeded on most I think I may have one there that needs to have a little spacer bead. Let's see on that last one there. And though those threaded ends are really nice and long and the ends that fit on them fit on there nice and snug so nothing's going to fall off or fall apart. But if you wanted to make sure you could also um, add a little adhesive to make them stay for good. Now the cutler set can, this little set can come with a holding block. Karen sells those display blocks um, in one of her uh, website sections and you can just slide whatever utensils or the cheese set right in it and I think it makes a really nice table display. Isn't that pretty? I just love this. It's a nice solid piece of wood, nicely finished. And those pieces are just lovely, lovely standing right in them. Okay, let's take a look at the little spoon, fork, and uh, butter knife. The shafts on those are about the same length as they are on the cheese knives. So they could be interchangeable with those as well. And I think those little beads need a little spacer on them as well. Um, for this little set, I made simpler beads just to show that it doesn't have to be anything ornate. It can be nice and simple. Glass is so beautiful by itself that it doesn't really need much but a little bit of bling from the utensil itself. And it makes a beautiful presentation. Everything on those utensils is nice and fit um, together very well and uh, those additional spacer beads are a very good fit for all the beads there's a lot of selection for different thicknesses anything that you may need those balls on the end are solid so they give a nice little counterweight to the utensil when you hold it in your hand it's just a pleasure to hold those in your hand even Last, last piece here. This one also needs a little spacer. And there we go. How wonderful is that? I love different ways of displaying the beads, not just as jewelry pieces, but also as, in a way, jewelry for the table. Nice and simple, beautiful. Let me show you something really quick here. Uh, Karen sends a little gift bag with a stash of beads right in there as a little additional thank you gift. So this is so nice. Uh, there's all kinds of different beads in there. There is uh, little focal beads or small spacer beads and even a couple of uh, uh, little charms and bead caps. So those are really useful whether you're using uh, lampwork beads to put on those or you want to use different acrylic or rhinestone beads that Karen has on those utensils and other items. Very nice, very nice little thoughtful gift, very handy, especially with the little spacers. Okay, let's put those off to the side for a second and let's take a look. And these wonderful little beads. Um, 
I selected another bead that I had for the magnifying glass. I just love the lavender glass. It's so pretty, and uh, but it's a little short. It's a little short. So I chose one of the big hole beads that came in the little free gift bag to accent the end of the bead. So I'm going to slide the lamp work bead first, then the big hole uh, rhinestone bead, and then add a little spacer on the end. Oh, wait, that one ran away on me. Let's pick another. There we go. And uh, you slide it on and it tightens really nice. Everything is snug and it just looks beautiful. And the bead looks great with that little accent of bling on the end. I just think it's awesome. <clears throat> the magnifying glass can be paired up with those letter openers. Those also have a long shaft and they come with another nice spacer on them already. So you can put it either at the end there or you can slide it towards the front of the letter opener. It's just a nice little set. This one's a little loose so we're gonna pick a thin little spacer bead to slide it on there. And that should make a perfect fit. So unique as gifts or products to sell. I just think they're wonderful ideas. Again, I can't stress enough how good the quality of these is. See, there's the little bead that I was talking about that comes with the knives. Here goes a big chunky bead I had that I felt was too heavy for a pendant, but it's perfect for a letter opener handle. Aren't these cute? I think so. I'll check out the brushes. Uh, Karen has them in sets and uh, they're usually in sets of three or five. It's either the um, bigger set or the full set of five that can also come with a little pouch that I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'm using the little bead caps that came with the freebies. I think they cap this bead very nicely. And then I'm adding a little more bling there at the end. And let's do a couple of spacers. What I find is so nice about these is that you can either use them with those super long or super large beads and they just look perfect. And you can use, or you can use them with several smaller beads and they still look very, very beautiful. You can mix and match and do what, whatever you please. And they just look beautiful. Let me show you one with just a few round beads instead of a large bead. I made some of these just for this little project so let's see what they look like. I thought that having little spacers in between the beads themselves would be a nice little touch. Give a little silver in between with a little beaded ring. Gives the beads a nice separation and accents each shape. I think I can squeeze one more on there. Yeah, let's grab another. Yeah, that's perfect. That is very nice. 
I love the way this looks. I love how it just belongs together. Very pretty. I have one more bead there that uh, I made a little bit ago. And it was a little bit of an orphan, but it's still very pretty. I thought I would use it with some large hole uh, spacer beads I had from previous projects. So with these you can use the large hole beads, then lump work beads, or any beads that have at least two, uh, 3 30 seconds diameter hole in them. Nice and snug. And it all looks perfect together. Looks, looks like it belongs. I just love it. Now we have the two smaller brushes. Oh, but let me show you this pouch first. This is one of the pouches that you can purchase from Karen that's specifically made to hold the makeup brushes. It has five slots and it's just a nice little wrapping for the pretties that you can put in there. Let's put some beads on those last two. Um, let's use some of the ones that Karen sent along with all the samples. Look how lovely those beads look. They're very cute and useful. Spacers and bling and little acrylic crystals. You can mix and match with lamp work beads. They will accent lamp work beads beautifully. Now, oh, there's my lamp work bead. There we go. I had one left. And another little bead cap. And a little crystal. And a spacer. I mean, look at this. This is all just made with all the beads that she sent along with it for free. Very cute. Now, Karen's website has a gazillion choices for the bead selection. Um, she has awesome selection of actual semi-precious stone beads and some of the acrylic bead sets with different charms, different color combinations, different themes. I mean, there's just no end to it, it seems like. So that's a nice little feature where you don't, if you don't want to use all lamp work beads in the work, you can use all the beads that Karen has to offer. I must say I'm having very much fun putting all this together, it's playing with the beads. Lovely. And this whole little set looks so well, so nice in this pouch. It has a little flap to cover them and it snaps together with magnetic closures. I think it has a very nice gift set look to it. I urge you to visit Karen's website and check out all the stuff she has to offer. There's just so much. I want to buy it all. <laughs>